Today I want to report about the students who received yesterday from Amaguko Secondary School who we suspect might have suffered what we call food poisoning. Food poisoning for delay doesn't mean that somebody took uh, some chemical and intentionally put in the food. It means the food was contaminated. That remains uh, our suspicion so far based on the presentation. So we received 20 students. Out of the 20 students, 17 were girls and three were boys. Out of 20, one was a candidate. The rest were non-candidates. And we informed that all the candidates had been allowed home. Therefore, they were not at school at the time um, of this. So in terms of age distribution, we had uh, one aged 18 years, nine aged 17 years, 16 of them were, eight of them were aged 16 years, one was aged 15, and the youngest was aged 14 years old. All of them presented similarly. Abdominal pains, or stomachache, loose stools, which we call diarrhea, and nausea and vomiting which started after supper on Sunday evening. And uh, from the history, apparently there is a group of students which consumed mawiki, kels, and there, is those, there are those who consumed the uh, cabbage. Apparently, yet to be confirmed because this is what we are getting from those we interacted with, only those who consumed skumawiki developed these symptoms. Um, so far, most of them have done fairly well. Out of the 20, four came in when they are very dehydrated with low blood pressures. But uh, I want to, at this juncture, thank our medical team at Kisi Teaching and Father Hospital, especially the emergency department, because they responded very swiftly with a lot of uh, teamwork. With the interventions, we were able to stabilize all of them. As of this moment, out of the 20 students that we received, 17, all of which are girls, have been discharged, stable, ready to go home. Three boys are still with us. Probably uh, the doctors are indicating that they might be discharging them home tomorrow. The reason as why they were not discharged today is because uh, of some reports of uh, uh, stomachache or abdominal pain, which we wanted to make sure we observe overnight to make sure by the time they go home they are fully uh, recovered. So the tests we have run so far, we have tested the common causes of uh, such presentation of abdominal pains, vomiting and diarrhea. So we checked for cholera, uh, it came negative, typhoid came negative, amoeba negative. We checked other organs like the liver, the kidney and blood, all of them were uh, normal, which means uh, they came to the hospital early before any complications out of dehydration. The only pending result so far that we are waiting for is what we call culture. So sometimes you might take a stool sample and you look into the microscope and you do what we call a point of care testing and it's negative. Not until we do culture to see if we can grow any organism. Because again, the commonest cause of food poisoning is bacteria. So we have taken stool samples to see if we can grow any organism from there. But uh, the most important thing as of now is they are all stable. Symptoms have been uh, eliminated through the treatment. And most of them required mainly uh, fluids through the blood vessels, painkillers, simple painkillers, and also uh, drugs to prevent uh, uh, vomiting. And they responded very well. So at this juncture, I want to thank the whole team of the medical fraternity at 